<clears throat> and in solving for y, we want to move this 4x to the other side of the equation. And we get y is equal to 4x minus 4. I personally, oops, I froze the screen. I personally like to uh, take care of both equations and then do the graphing. <clears throat> it doesn't matter if you wanted to do the graphs now. We're going to subtract this 2x from this equation, and we get y is equal to negative 2x plus 8. So the first equation would get graphed down here. Negative 4 is the y-intercept. Rise up 4 and run over. I'm going to do another one. And then I can graph my line. I use a fancy straight edge, like some sticky notes. Does this actually like the horde type? Yeah. Those are not sticky notes. Those are, those I like using index ones. cards better too. Okay, and then my second line starts at positive 8. And it's a negative line, so we're going to drop down 2 and run across 1. And I want to just keep doing that until I find a point. And this is my point right here. That is my 2 comma 4. It's a negative slope, so we end up with a negative line. And they cross together right through that origin, or the, um, the intersection. So this is a good one that it's pretty simple to graph these. Like I've told you guys, I prefer substitution, and I figure if I'm going to turn this into y equals, another simple way would have been to take this and plug it into this equation and solve there. So it really just depends on what the equations are that you get and how you want to work it. Okay? So I know short class today, 